everyone, Greg here. And this issue was about my friend's blog post not showing up in Google or Bing. So I'm going to go over exactly what I did to have them now index in both search engines. So right here, this was the screenshot. URL is not in Google. It said discovered, but currently not indexed. Now, I used a tool called Sitebulb, and it's a tool similar to Screaming Frog. But basically, I crawled my friend's website, and I went to the blog post, How to Buy a Home First-Time Buyer, and meets all the criteria where it uh, can technically be crawled. Um, they can technically find it on the page above, which is the feed. So I drilled down a little bit deeper into the feed page because that was the page that was self-referencing that blog post. And there's an error on this page. And you'll see it says, this page cannot be indexed by search engines because it's canonical to another URL. It, um, and really what that means is that the page itself was slash feed, but the canonical said slash feed slash. So therefore it confused Google, it tripped them up. Same thing also with Bing. So when they got to the feed page, they couldn't actually go down another path and find that blog post. Now, if you do a normal crawler, like I did in Sitebulb, you will see that the top is the homepage, level down is the feed, and then below that is that blog post. So technically, if you looked at it from this sample viewpoint, you would say Google and Bing should be able to crawl this page, but they couldn't. So my first solution to test was to add a direct link on the homepage. Why? Because I didn't know that Google and Bing were both crawling the homepage. I can see it from the Google Search Console data and also Bing Webmaster Tools. So by adding the link directly to the homepage, I wanted to say that is it the feed page that's causing the problem. One day after adding the link to the homepage, Google was able to get it right into the index. URL is now in Google. Um, I want to show you real quick within a uh, within a Google or Bing search. So if you put in the URL directly into Google, you'll see his blog post now at the very top, jeffloss.com, how to buy a home first-time buyer. And then if you go into Bing, it's the same thing too, how to buy a home first-time buyer. So this his website is on Wix. Um, Wix sometimes has SEO issues, uh, just like WordPress. But um, this was definitely a, a, an issue that I've seen in the past. I just haven't seen it in a way that um, Wix, for some reason, canonicalized the wrong page. Uh, my friend didn't change the canonicals, but that's just kind of what happened on Wix. So, long story short, if you are writing blog posts and you get an error message like this at the top within Google, says URL is not on Google, and it's already been a few days, go through the steps, go a level above, figure out where it's being linked from, and see if there's any issue with that page. And if there's an issue with the page, you basically either need to fix uh, the problem, like we did now with the canonical is actually correct, or you need to have a direct link on a page that is crawlable by Google and Bing, so then they can both uh, bots follow and find that blog post, so then they can actually index it within their search results. So thank you very much.